the summer of 2011, age 12, me, my parents and my brother and sister left JHQ for what we thought was the last time. We locked the doors to Two Four Far Away, the house I had lived in for as long as I could remember, and said goodbye. The camp was due for closure in the coming months, and by this time the end was noticeable. It was never clear to me what would happen to JHQ after we left, or if I would ever see Two Four Far Away again.
Being reunited with so many memories was overwhelming, but this was not why I'd come back. Home was still calling me. JHQ has always found its way into my dreams. When I used to dream about JHQ, I'd dream of going back. The gates being opened up, and the people being returned to their homes, or what was left of them. Clearing paths through the undergrowth, carving out a new life. Wandering the once familiar streets, now occupied again, but still abandoned. Weeds still cracking the concrete. Now that I've been back, these dreams are nightmares. I'm being chased. The fences are impenetrable. The guards are closing in on me. The streets have all changed. There is no way back into too far, far away. It was easy to get lost, wandering the empty streets of my childhood. The routes I had once known like the back of my hand were now alien to me. How many of the houses I passed by did I once know? Even those I did remember had begun to get clouded.
After a while, these houses all feel the same. The excitement quickly wears off. Instead, it just feels wrong. It would be easier if I was a stranger to this place. I wouldn't feel so guilty for sneaking around. Knowing what once was feels like an intrusion. Like I should be knocking on doors and waiting to be welcomed inside. Like I'm an unwanted reminder of how things used to be. The closer I got to home, the more being back felt like a bad decision. Things I was once so determined to achieve now felt impossible. All hope of the satisfying conclusion I once thought too far, far away would be was gone. But still I went on, until at last I was back. I stood in front of my bedroom window, counting all the way up to a hundred for the first time. Sarah the Red Squirrel and Batman and Robin the Goldfish. A bug's life before leaving for school. Crawling into the gap behind the bottom shelf of the air and cold and breathing by torture. Stay electric race tracks and playing with your castles. Ants crawling up from behind the skirting boards in the summers. Sitting in front of the fireplace in the winters. A sink in every bedroom and a water cooler in the kitchen. Ice cream man and Mr. Bofrost. The borrowed shopping trolleys rusting away in the backyard. My mum's mint and lavender growing by the back door. The apple tree that was blown away in the snow. My Wallace and Gromit knitted sweater sharing a bedroom with my younger brother, sitting in front of the fireplace in the winters. A sink in every bedroom and a water cooler in the kitchen, pretending to be dead on my sister's bedroom floor. Tony the ice cream man and Mr. Bullfrog. Christmases, birthdays and family visits. Being terrified. Tony the ice cream man and Mr. Bullfrog. The borrowed shopping trolleys rusting away in the backyard. My mum's mint and lavender growing by the back door. 
convinced myself it was, but this was not too far, far away. There was another house, on another street. These were rooms I had never seen before. Identical, but for the smallest details. My nightmares were right. Too far, far away was too far away. It wasn't home, but it looked just like it. some things buried. 